Hello everyone, this is Jim from Hunter's Bucky Mushroom Farm and as you can tell by the sound above me, uh, I am under an overpass uh, here in Austin, Texas and I wanted to talk about three things. First being um, this massive Glorodes mushroom that's coming out of this, uh, this tree. Um, and not only that, but there are two other species that are growing alongside with it. This one is a, uh, a polypore. It looks like turkey tail, but uh, it is not. And it is growing all the way up this, uh, what I believe to be, it's hard to tell from the bark, but an old elm or a cedar elm tree. And underneath this, we have a third species that is growing with it in abundance. And they're all cohabitating in this this same uh, unique area. The next thing I wanted to show you is why these are all growing in this one specific spot. This is our second day of rain within eight days. Um, and the rain has found itself down the pillar of this bridge um, to the overpass above and is right on a seam in the bridge. And all of that water has made its way through there. You can see it falling down onto this old elm tree right in the bottom and hence we have this large growth of this uh, Pleurotes and the other two species that are growing along with it. And the third thing that I wanted to mention is um, a reminder to all the mycologists out there who have the knowledge and the ability to take some tissue, a culture of this, and put it into your collection. When you come across something like this that is of that magnitude and that aggressiveness and um, taking that and storing it in your culture library so that when it comes time for your specific environment and, and where you live, you can take this culture and use it for a micro restoration or, or a micro remediation or, or micro filtration uh, project because you have the genetics of this obviously very aggressive, um, very hardy um, Pleurotes. This is actually the second growth that I've seen off of this just in the last few months and being in an environment where we get so little rain, um, that is, that is, that is, it's rare around here. It's just so, so to have it for that future use so that when we, when, as micro uh, restoration becomes more uh, commonplace, we have that species taken and we have something that we can use that's from our own, own environment. So thank you.